Hi there, I'm Alfie and I assist all of It's Me Society's agencies with all of their marketing needs. Today I'm going to help you learn how to prepare your InDesign file for printing. And it's important to know this in order for you to send the correct files in the correct presets to ensure a great quality print. Hi everyone. So on this video, I'm going to teach you how to quickly print, prepare a document on InDesign. So let's just jump right through it. Uh, so the first thing I do is I go to file I go to new document and this window will appear. So you set your document up, you set your, the measurements of your document up right here on the, on the right, name it whatever you'd like. So I'm just going to call this test two. And my document size will be 297 by 297 millimeters. You can also set the, the, the type of unit that you want on the side here. Mine will be just millimeters. And then I will scroll down to the bottom and you'll get to this section called bleed. And it's very important that you set the bleed when you're going to print a document out. You won't need this for, for a document that you're going to just put online. Um, but if it's something for printing, it's important that you you uh, you set the bleed. So I automatically already have three millimeters. Three millimeters is a good amount for bleed marks. You, sometimes, depending on the printer, they might ask for five millimeters, four millimeters. I've even been asked ten millimeters in the past. But you do whatever the the printer is requesting. So in this case, I'll be doing three millimeters. So I'll create that. So this is the first thing that you'll see. And I already have copied and pasted my image, which I'm going to use, which is this. So this is the design that I want to print, prepare and get out and print. So just a little bit of a, a recap on bleeds. So you're going to notice that, excuse me, you're going to notice that there is a gap between the artboard and this red line. So this red line is the bleed mark and the edge of the artboard, everything between the edge of the artboard and this red mark is going to be cut out. It's an indicator for the printer to note that this information that's here, anything that's on here is not important information and that you're okay for it to, to not appear on your design. So in this case, we have our design ready. So the first thing I would do is I would go to file and I will go all the way down to export. Once you have export, you decide the name that you'd like and you go, you also you have to decide, decide where you want to save it. So I'm just going to save it very quickly to my desktop. Where is it? Yeah, here we are. So the next step would be go down to format. And you will have this option of choosing two types of PDFs, Adobe PDF Interactive or Print. Obviously, it is as simple as it says. So we want the print document. So the first thing that happens once you selected that, you'll get this really important window that appears. And this window will set, will is a whole bunch of settings and it determines how your print will come out. So the first thing I always do is I always select up here and where it says Adobe PDF presets is the high quality. And then I follow this list down here. So first thing I'll do is general. I would make sure that the page is selected. Yes, pages all because it's just one page. If it was two or three pages and maybe I just wanted to print out the first two, I can just press one comma two, but I don't want to print the third page. But anyway, there is no other pages, so I'm not going to confuse you there. So. We're just going to press all pages is fine. So the next, the next step would be compression. Compression is fine. You don't need to touch that really. It's already set up to high quality print. Then is marks and bleeds. This is important. So the first thing you want to do is you want to select crop mark and you don't want to select the bleed mark here. You just go down here and select the use document bleed mark. So these are the bleed marks that you have set on your document when you started designing it. And then the next part, which is very important, is output. So output, color conversion. This is 
one that you need to select and you need to select convert to destination preserve numbers so for those of you who understand RGB and CMYK colors if there is an RGB uh, image or any RGB images on your InDesign file this will convert them to the nearest CMYK value I know some of you might not understand but you can look check it out on my other videos um, to do with RGB and CMYK and the differences on why it's so important. So now that you have convert to destination preserve numbers, you can now forget about these, no worries and no issues, and you can just go ahead and export.